Hello, my name is Michael Showalter, and you're watching The Michael Showalter Showalter. Uh, today, I'm very pleased to have as my guest comedian, author, filmmaker, pundit, and now children's book author, Michael Ian Black. And Michael, let me also add, you're a very good friend of mine, and I'm really glad that you agreed to do the show. <clears throat> well, thank you for having me, especially because I think I'm your first repeat guest on The Michael Showalter Showalter. And I really appreciate you helping me promote my new children's book. I would, it's, it's absolutely, it's my pleasure, and I would, I would want to do anything I could to help out. So here's the book. I'm just going to hold it up. It's called Chicken Cheeks. And um, you want to tell us a little bit about the book, Mike? Well, Chicken Cheeks is a fun look at animals from a slightly different perspective. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're butts. They're butts? They're butts. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, it's their butts. Oh. The cameras are off? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, I went to Simon & Schuster's the publisher. Okay. And when I first got the deal for the book, they said, and you'll be available for a book tour. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I'll be available. I'd love to do a book tour. Right. So it turns out, instead of the book tour, you're a mascot. The money that they were going to spend on the book tour, they spent on this. Right. Oh. oh. And they got, it, they got it used. They got it from a chicken wing place. Smell it. It smells like chicken wings. It does smell like chicken wings. So the book is called Chicken Cheeks. And Mike, do you want to tell us what's the book about? Well, it's about animals. And I, I kind of wrote it for my kids. Um, and it's specifically about animal tushies. <laughs> 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 I am literally dying. Do you need right to now. take a break? I, I, if I take this off, I'm not going to get it back on because I'm, sw I'm swelling up under oh, this. I'm going into like prophylactic shock or something. Really? Prophylactic shock? Yeah, like rubbers. Oh. Like, like a, like a, like is that a, what's inside the chicken suit? That's if you wear a condom. I don't know what's, I don't know what's kind of shock I'm going Are you wearing a condom right now? Yes, but that has nothing to do with the chicken suit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Having read the book, what I can tell is, is that essentially you picked a bunch of animals <laughs> and then you thought of words that could describe their butt and then you kind of... <laughs> You kind of rhymed them. Well, some are rhymes, some are alliteration. I now think I kids are going to get a big honest, kick out of now this. Now, Mike, I want to ask you an honest question. Yeah. Now, you, you got paid to write this book. Sure. Right? Yeah. And uh, I just want to know, be honest, how long did it take you to write this book? I worked on this book off and on for the better part of a year. Really? 90 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Probably That's 90 minutes of all told. That's what I would have thought. You know? Yeah. Because essentially it's just... And half of that was spell check. There's probably less than 200 words in this whole book. 50, less than 50 words. Less than 50 words, it's, yeah. And I was like, it's kind of a joke. It's a scam. It's a scam. It's such a scam. Yeah. Can I do one? Yeah. Uh, uh, could I do one just like about how, you know, different kinds of animals have like penises? In sure. Them? Yeah, I mean. I already have some ideas like um, donkey dick and uh, cow dick. Right, well, those are kind of the same. I mean, you'd probably want to be... No, but they're not the same at all. I don't know. Is a cow and a donkey the same? Gee, Mike, I don't think so. Right. I think they're very different. Um, look, I'm trying to be supportive. Elephant dick. Moose dick. I would just... I right. mean, because what you... I would just do what you did, which is just... Well, mine's a little more clever than that. I'm hoping to go to a bunch of stores and read to kids and have a great time with it. And uh, I... I you know, I got into this because of my own kids, but I'm hoping that it's going to appeal to every kid. And have your kids read the book yet? Do they know about they it? Love Do it? They love it. They, 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 they think it. it's yeah. great. They think yeah. it's really funny. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I can only imagine. Off the record. Right. They don't give a shit. You know, my wife walked out. I mean, we talked about this. So she's got the kids. They went to Tampa. And I mean, she doesn't even know anybody in Tampa. But she just was like, I want a fresh start. Uh, you know, I'm going to take lifeguarding classes. And it's like, you're 40 years old. You're going to become a lifeguard. It's terrible. It's terrible. So the kid, and I don't even know where the kids are living. She won't give me the address. I know they're in an apartment complex somewhere. And uh, I haven't talked to them in weeks. Um, I sent them the book. I sent them a copy of the book. I, did, I didn't hear back. What about the drinking? Mine or hers? Yours. It's very cute. <laughs> Open up to a random funny. page and I'll All right, show I'll you. Just open to any, I'm just flipping to any random page. Dear reader. <laughs> and what about the pills? Because I noticed that when you came over the other day for brunch, when I opened my medicine cabinet, I noticed that my Percocets were missing. And I wanted to ask you if maybe when you went into the bathroom for two hours, you took any of them. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can you look me in the eye and tell me that you didn't take my Percocets? Mike, I didn't take your Percocets. 
I, that day, I was in, uh, you know I have back, I have back pain. I know you say you have back pain. I was in horrible, horrible back pain that day. I was mm -hmm. in a lot of You seemed pain. fine when we were playing touch football, you seemed Because I had taken the Percocets. My guest, Michael Ian Black, thank you for joining us. Thank you. The book is called Chicken Cheeks, and it hits the stands January 6th. And uh, it's coming out on uh, Simon and Schuster, and I think it's a really great book. Thanks for uh, thanks for doing the show, Mike. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>